It's 10.23 a.m. I'm sorry, 10.23 p.m. That's one thing I hate about downtown is noise campaign everywhere. And this idiot been going back and forth up and down the fucking street. Ignorant. So, um, this perp been waiting right here. You see those people right here? I try to panhandle and ask for help. They try to act all Masonic and stuck up. So, um, so that now it's like another situation with a so-called target, <clears throat> you know, that he got mad and tried to confront me via text message and say, oh, well, damn. noise everywhere and I, this look like a perp too oh oh more than one person in this car they shouldn't make cars like that so that guy tried I didn't even mention names in that video and and that I'm not going to I'm not going to say damn shut up I'm I'm not even going to say his name but um <clears throat> you know he tried to say well I saw that video that you did about me and then he I didn't even mention his name you know but he's like I saw that video that you did about me and um he he said well Show me the screenshots of where I told you this or where I told you that. And I never, um, and, and then he said, well, I never talked to you in a condescending, narcissistic abuser. They're always lying and say that they don't, that they haven't, um, you know, talked to me in a condescending way, you know. And then he said, you're lucky I didn't hop on a perp bandwagon and, and and start slandering you or slandering you um, right along. Damn. He said, um, you're lucky I didn't. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I have to. Because I'm trying to get this fucking story out. Move. So, and here's a perp right here. But, um,. They're trying to alter my phone. This bitch, he he, he altered my he he swung he altered the camera. See, he's fucking manipulating the headlights. And I bet you you're not even, I bet you you're not even a checked in guest at this hotel. I'm about to get your license plate. But yeah, that's what that guy try to um tell me you're lucky I don't you know, you're lucky I won't um join the um he said you're lucky I don't join the perp bandwagon and slander your slander you right along with your twin sister and I'm like well why would you threaten some something like that if you say if you want to try to convince me that you're not a perp why would you threaten something like that Hey, I see you satanic gang stalkers. Mississippi license plate. Y'all know what y'all doing, criminals. It seems like he's laughing, like he thinks it's funny. But yeah. It, why the hell would you 
If you're supposed to be a legit targeted individual and you try to convince me I'm not a perp, I'm not a perp, why the hell, why the hell would you um threaten? Why the hell would you even, damn, just noise campaign everywhere. I hope y'all can hear me. But why the hell would you even threaten to go, he's like, oh, you're lucky I don't go you're lucky I don't do what the perps do and go and join your twin sister. You know, so it seems like he's been stalking and watching my videos because I damn sure don't watch his. You know. But they got slander. How can he how can he say something like that and they got slander camp? Come on, man. Satanist. But but how can this guy sit, tell me something like that, trying to threaten me? You know, how can he try to threaten me? And how, how can he try to threaten me when they got slander campaigns about him? You know, I mean, as I said, I'm not mentioning doggone names because the online perps they want to get try to involve themselves and get doggone messy you know but you younger than me and don't you don't you come at me that way and i'm a doggone female you younger than me and don't you come at me that way and i'm a doggone female and that's why i cut you off because you do talk to me in a condescending abusive way and talk to me like i don't have sense and like i don't know any better As I said, you know, I quit talking to him, this guy because me and him got into an argument because he defended the perp co-worker last year, you know, around the time that I quit, you know. So, and then there were other instances that he, um, he would like very aggressive bossy and you know and yes he is very demanding and controlling and treat me like i don't have common sense and I, that's why i say anybody that's narcissistic and controlling even if you are a supposed target individual i'm cutting all y'all off but for you to threaten for you to threaten to um start joining my twin sister and tell me you're lucky I don't join your twin sister and start with the slander campaigns. Well, look at these fools. So, um, and there they go ritualistically every Friday. And now, of course, I'm fucking irritated right now. You're not going to be a real targeted individual and even threaten to, to go along with my twin sister slander campaigns. When they got slander, you got fucking nerve, Anthony, because they got fucking, um, they got slander campaigns on, about you on YouTube also. Look, that it, and these fools. So that's the the freaking weapon you would use against me is to threaten to um you, you know you'll definitely never speak to me again. Never try to contact me again. Cuz you are you a narcissistic abuser. You know the and and, and it's like multiple car perp cars here. You know So, I mean, they got slander campaigns about Anthony being a freaking, um, they got slander campaigns about him being a perp online, too. So how can he, he how, I would dare him to freaking act like he wants to join my twin sister's cult and everything. That would prove you a fake T.I. perp, if you, if you do. Now, if you're a real target, you'll keep your fucking mouth shut. You know?
But you know, I got I got tired of feeling uncomfortable. I got tired of the abuse. And and he made me feel frightened to stand up to him. So that's why I just cut off all contact with him. But here they go with the fake Friday shit shows um noise campaign like they usually do. And it's a fucking miserable tonight tonight because they got termites out here tonight. So I mean As I said, I didn't I didn't even mention I didn't even mention his name. You know, he's like I saw that video you did about me and stuff like that. So um I didn't even talk specifically about him. You know, I was addressing a few people. So I'm forced to sleep over here tonight, you know. And that's how people do. They, they want to give fake Christian Bible scriptures and fake encouragement. And then the moment they get mad at you, they show you the biggest devil they can be. So that's why I said, um, you sit there and threaten to, um, you know, so it seemed like he'd been watching and watching my dog on videos, you know, so you never were, you never meant any good, you, you know, you didn't have my best interest at heart in the first place is this was what you're going to do to me, you know. And then you come off as bullyish, like a bully. And that's another reason why I, you know, quit talking to you. Who the hell is a real target but defends the perps? And I felt, that's why I felt like hesitant to even give him my phone number. So, I mean, like, how the hell are you going to threaten to join my twin sister when they got slander campaigns about you, too? They got more than one. Oh, this ain't. They, oh, and it's so dark you can't even see. They got more than one homeless person here tonight. Now, where the hell you come from? And he's wearing a lot of red, too. I mean, he got, like, a lot of red bags and stuff. That's why I said they want to try to make this area as unsafe as possible for me. And that's why, as I said, you know, me standing up to narcissistic bullies... And then they want to try to make it like, oh, you burned your bridges from people trying to help you. No, trying to control and abuse and talking to me in a way that's like condescending and making me feel belittled. See, they put dangerous homeless perps near me. So, um... So, yeah, I mean, that's why I said I do not feel comfortable being talked to, you know, and, and like, a, I mean, talked to in a, in a way that's condescending. And, um, you, you know, and then he, he wanted to try to de aggressively demand that, oh, show me the text message. What about all the, the many phone conversations we had? And look, noise campaign over there. And then he'll go to per a perp with, um, and see, that's what they try to gaslight when I put the camera on them. They, um, they try to make their headlights back to normal. You see that's funny headlights? 
So I'm still targeted. Still heavy, heavily targeted. So as I said, why would you even threaten to do something perp like? You're lucky I don't join the the perp. You're, you're lucky I don't join the perp. Uh, and um, you, you know. So. Them ignorant ghetto perps over there. Fucking noise campaign. But I just had a rough week this week and a rough month all month this month. And then that homeless perp over there was wearing a lot of red and he's sit sitting there threatening me. He had he hadn't been sleeping over here. He hadn't. 